The U.S. hit back at Iran over its nuclear ambitions while addressing the United Nations in New York City on Monday. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton accused Tehran of putting the world at risk and flouting international rules. It has defied the U.N. Security Council and the IAEA and placed the future of the non-proliferation regime in jeopardy. And that is why it is facing increasing isolation and pressure from the international community. Just hours earlier, Iran's president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, called for the U.S. to be punished for making nuclear threats. In return, Clinton accused him of making the same tired, false and sometimes wild accusations and urged other countries to hold Tehran accountable. Iran will do whatever it can to divert attention away from its own record and to attempt to evade accountability. Her comments came as the U.S. Defense Department revealed for the first time the overall size of its nuclear arsenal. Washington says it has over 5,000 warheads operationally deployed, kept in active reserve and held in inactive storage. Look, the United States and Russia, together we have more than 95 percent of all the nuclear weapons in the world. We have enough nuclear weapons to destroy the world many times over. We are attempting to rein that in. We are attempting to make progress toward a world without nuclear weapons in a clear-eyed, practical, realistic way, consistent with our security, and we think releasing uh, this information furthers that goal. The exact number, 5,113, has been a closely guarded secret for more than half a century. Gemma Haynes, Reuters, New York.